Whether it's characters from hit movies like Home Alone or The Grinch, the Caldwells go all out when decorating their house for the Christmas season. This beautiful display you see here took more than 120 hours to complete. It progressed as like uh, probably driving around as a child looking at Christmas lights and always kind of childhood dream. The Caldwells are hoping to raise 2,021 pounds of food for the Lethbridge Food Bank this year. They are also looking for toy donations that will benefit the Salvation Army's Toys for Tots campaign. Our eight-year-old daughter thought of that clever idea <laughs> for 2021. For food and then toys, uh, I'd love to bring a truck and trailer of toys down yeah. and uh, what they don't use this year they they'll use next year. I mean they yeah. They really, that charity really needs all the help they can get. Another initiative that the couple is putting on is called Santa's Bag Giveaways. It began as an incentive for members of the community when they came to drop off donations. Well, why not contact local businesses? It started out with just our friends to begin with, who had local businesses, um, who would sponsor a gift from from their business and thought, why not make packages for Santa's Bag Giveaways? Um, that just kind of gives them incentive to, to make a donation and they can enter to win and it's become pretty big. The spirit of giving was alive and well after a member of the community dropped off a huge donation on Sunday night. To be honest today we had a, someone drop off a thousand dollar donation and uh, sorry that, <laughs> that that's Christmas to me is giving. It's just amazing every year we meet mm -hmm. uh, new people like this and it's really cool that we can uh, give people a reason to give. The couple will be dropping off the donations for Toys for Tots and the Lethbridge Food Bank on December 20th for a final tally of the Christmas goodies. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.